Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing with some new makeup. Let's address the elephants in the room. I've done my eyebrows really big today. <laughs> I like them, okay? We'll see what they look like by the end. I have a lot of new makeup in front of me. Very excited. Most of it is rose ink. I've not tried rose ink before, but I got a really lovely PR package and I've been kind of saving it because I wanted to film one of these videos. A couple of new brands in here as well and then some new releases from brands that we already know and love. I've also lost a middle finger nail. I just must use that finger too much. Let's get started. I'm going to use a new moisturiser. This is the Allies of Skin Peptides and Antioxidants Firming Daily Treatment. like this brand a lot. I nearly said I love it. I do. I do love it. It's just, oh. Their products don't smell. Like they don't smell nice but they do smell like maybe the ingredients. It just smells emollient, <laughs> does that make sense? Really nice though. I suppose with skincare though, you need to really give it a go for a while. I have a new concealer here. This is the Rose Ink Concealer. I'm gonna be using the shade LX090. First impressions are, I, I like the packaging a lot. It's quite um, architectural, isn't it? And this, I thought this was glass. I did that. If I have to, test to see if something's metal or glass. I just put it in my mouth, but it's plastic. Frosted plastic. So I'm going to go in with this first. Oh, big doe foot. I wonder how much product you get. 10.8 mils. So actually it's quite a generous amount of product you get. And I'm just going to see what this color is like. Oh, nice. It's quite bright. I like to usually use a concealer that is closer to my skin tone, I suppose, but I've got a wee bit of face tan on just now. Let's just start here. I think I've got one of everything from her range, Rosie Huntington Whiteley. So I'm really gonna be trying it all today. This is her number two brush, which I think looks really nice. It's like a dual fiber. Oh, it's a bit jaggy. <laughs> it's not jaggy jaggy, but I can feel, I can feel the bristles. It's firmer than I thought. There's another brush here too, the number one brush. So that one, is a bit softer but it's denser so you would use this maybe for under your eyes and then this is good for face and cheeks I would say. First impressions are nice. Wow look at that it just covered up my spot. That colour is actually nice when it's blended out you know. That looks quite good doesn't it? So Rose Ink is by Rosie Huntington Whiteley and what I find so interesting Rose Ink was started as a community page on Instagram which basically means that they were sharing articles and blog posts and they were creating their own content with loads of different creators. I really like it. I remember when I first saw it, my initial thought was, oh, I'd love, I'd love to be on that page. I'd love to go on Rose Inc and talk about makeup and beauty. So I think it's really cool. And then once the community had been built, I think they had maybe like 300,000 followers or something. Rosie launched her makeup brand, Rose Inc. Sometimes with a uh, celebrity makeup brand, you do wonder how involved they are in the the actual brand and the process behind everything and from what I've read and what I've seen when Rosie's talking about her products I think she's really involved which I love I think that's great so the concealer is it's got a nice stretch to it it's got good coverage and it's got a nice finish to it it's not as glowy as maybe I usually use but so far it looks really nice I look a bit patchy because I've got high color in the rest of my face and that's done a lot for the coverage and things but I think that looks really nice Part of me wants to just go in with this everywhere. Let's try a little bit more over this spot. And I'm going to use the smaller brush. And we're going to, going to tap it out. Coverage is brilliant. Pretty nice, right? When we're doing our eyes and I've finished my skin, I'll zoom you right in so you can see what it's looking like on my actual face. That looks great. I think Rose Inc. have their own website and they also launched with Space NK. Space NK, I really like. I love all the brands that sit on there. Definitely reminds me of Cult Beauty with the brands that they carry. But I think on Space, I would say that they're all quite high end. Cult Beauty, I've noticed, have started taking on brands that aren't quite as high end. Like I saw OPV have gone onto Cult Beauty, which is really interesting. But Space NK have held their luxe standpoint when it comes to brands, I feel. Tell me if you disagree, but I think that Space NK is just a little bit more premium than Cult Beauty at the moment. But the price points for Rose Inc are really good, I think. They're not crazy prices, but they are slightly more high end. Okay, I've ended up using that concealer over my whole face and I really like it. <laughs> the finish is different to what I thought I was about to get just because of the doe foot. Definitely more matte than I thought but I think that looks so nice. My next plan was to go in with another concealer. Now this isn't brand new, but it, it's a new take on the 
classic. So this is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. If you've been here for a long time, I was obsessed with this. I think I still worked at Illamasca, you know? And I had one of these that I got given from a friend, Kate Levy, actually. And it was when Kate was a blogger and I was not. So Kate would get, you know, samples and things like that. I will literally never forget, I went over to her house to film something and she had like her PR box that she was gonna give away. And I found the Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer and I was like, that is 38 pounds. And she was like, I know. And I was like, please, please can I have that? And I used it ever since. I've still, I'm pretty sure I've still got the out of date pot in my kit. I do not the one that I use, but still. So we have a new pot, we have a new component. I'll need to go and look to see if they've changed the formula, but part of me really doesn't think that they would because it's so famous. But what my plan was, you can mix this with a primer to create a foundation. So that's what I wanted to do today. I've got my Vive Skin Nova, which technically has a new product, uh, which is also sold out at the moment on Cult Beauty. And I've taken one pump of that on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna go in with the bottom of my brush, and you need a tiny little bit. Do you see how much I'm getting? And I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand, and we're gonna mix this together to create a slightly more sheer version, like look, do you see how beautiful? I'm just gonna pop it on. This might go completely wrong because I'm mixing primer on top of concealer. I think this is going to be amazing. It's not gonna be full coverage, but I think this is gonna add a little bit of something, something. If you wanted as well, you could actually mix your concealer with Skin Nova to create a BB cream type thing. But I just really wanted to try this like cult classic product. Of course, I'm gonna end up with this. It being my favorite thing ever and it's like a mixture of product. Very, 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 very happy with that. I have a powder here, right? Glowish by Huda Beauty, Hoodie? by Huda Beauty, but I'm worried that it's going to be a little bit too dark. Let's try a little bit. I like the Glowish products, but one thing that I would say is I'm finding the, the colour navigation to be quite difficult. Usually across the board, I am in the medium range. I'm in medium foundation, medium bronzer, medium concealer, always a medium, but this is well, this is tan light, so maybe that makes sense why I'm struggling. Too dark, too dark for me. I have another powder here, in case that happens. We're gonna change and we're gonna go in with the Kevin Aquan Loose Powder. Again, it's not new, but I like this. It's got a little roof that you open up to get to your product. Wow, very, very fine. I really like Kevin Aquan. I really like the brand. I think um, it's a classic makeup artist brand, which I really like. It kind of reminds me of same realm as like Ray Morris, brushes, Westman Atelier, brands like that, which I, I do have a, a love for. And I feel like I've got quite a lot of coverage on, but it doesn't, it doesn't really look like it. Okay, I've been literally doing that for a million years. Let's move on to the rest of the face because I'm gonna go quite blushy today and my eyes, there's a chance that they're gonna really contrast. I'm gonna go in with the Rose Ink Lip and Cheek Color in the shade Azalea. These are very cute components. Again, the same kind of structure as the concealer. Everything really goes nicely. And it's just really nice, refillable as well. So I have here one of the refills in a different color. This is Ophelia. This is probably more my color. This is a bit berry. But we're gonna we're gonna try it and we're gonna try this, but a really tiny amount. When I think of Rosie Huntington Whiteley and Rose Inc., I think of that barely there makeup that's just enhancing. But saying that, I'm really impressed that the concealer can take me to full coverage if I want. Because I think that you can have barely there natural makeup with full coverage if you want, for sure. Because some people want full coverage every day for whatever reason. Anyway, I'm gonna go back in with the two brush. Okay, look, I'm going right in. Very sheer. I'm keeping it nice and high the way I like to do it. This brush is a little bit stiff. I can imagine if you were using this brush on top of full coverage powdered, powdered makeup, it might lift your foundation off. Especially because you can't, you don't really buff on top of a base like that, do you? You pat it on like I'm doing right now. Very pretty, look. So I think the takeaway is don't be scared of the intense colour because what you actually get as far as payoff on your skin is easy and soft. Nice, I might just go in with my foundation brush. This is just the, the Smith 115 and I'm just gonna tap that out. I find this brush to be a little bit softer. Really nice, it's got a nice glow to it. Nice and hydrated looking. Yes, pretty, very pretty. Okay, I'm nervous about this one but I've seen people rave about it. So this is the KVD Vegan Beauty Liquid Gel Contour Mod Con. This is light medium neutral and it comes with a doe foot, kind of like a concealer, but it's a gel 
that blends away. Oh, I don't know if any of you remember, this product really reminds me of an Illamasqua product it launched when I worked there. It was like a cool stick contour that you would rub onto your pad, your thumb, and then you would do this to contour. Maybe I'll try that technique with this. Hmm. I might actually find the clip of me doing this because I'm such like a wee girl when I was doing it. Some of your thumb, like so. Oh, there we go. Just go in with more. Let me just use a brush now. I've tried that technique. It's not my favourite. The mechanic of it reminds me of the like sellout Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer that Madison Beer used and now you cannot get it for love nor money. Do you know what? It's, it's, it's blending pretty nicely and I need to buff it because it's just going a bit funny. I think that this product is for no makeup makeup wearers. Do you know what I mean? Which kind of surprises me about KVD just because they are, they're inspired by tattoo and tattoo culture and the makeup that goes along with that, which stereotypically is quite full on. I'm gonna try that again when I've got no foundation on, but maybe what I'm looking for today is just more, more. Do you know what I've got on my desk here? I've got the Say bronzer, which I really like. I'm just gonna to touch this on top and I'm actually just gonna go in with my usual bronzer brush. I really like this. That's better. Like, look how nice. Okay, let's just finish off this face with Slime Light by Freck. How cool. Freck are doing some pretty interesting things. I love the marketing. I love the products that they're coming out with for me. They're, they're quite different. They're a bit surprising. Like when they came out with their On Repeat Cleanser, which I've got actually in my drawer to try. I just didn't expect it from them, didn't expect a cleanser. Obviously their freckle pen is pretty great. I really like it. But yeah, this is Slime Light. So they, they brought out Cheek Slime, which is cream blushers, and then Slime Light is their highlighters. But again, they've not come out with the colors that you would think. They've got holographic colors. Whoa, this might look mental. But if I show you, it's like pink and yellow and gold almost. You can't really see the gold, but it's, yeah, so it's like holographic. I mean, we're trying to make up, so it's gonna be interesting either way. Oh, like it's pretty, isn't it? But again, it's pink and actually, is it, yeah, it's taken, mm, it's taken off my foundation a tiny bit, but I'm just gonna pat, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of concealer just there and there, because that's making it look like I've got black eyes. It does look very, very pretty. I think um, it's almost, it's almost for, I was gonna say for fun, but it's not. It's very pretty. I think that if you like cool pink tones on your skin, you'd really like it. Whereas I always go more towards gold, don't I? I always go towards gold, bronze colors, and even like champagne. Let's do our eyes, shall we? There's a the skin up close, doesn't it? I think that looks good. We're very glowy in the cheek. The colors look nice. For eyes, I'm gonna prime with my usual just to give the products a fair chance. I know that this is gonna be good because it's NARS, but I'm gonna use my Vive Eye Wand first and then we're gonna use the new NARS Climax palette. I think that this looks so great. See these greens and the purples together? This in particular is what I want to use today, but I was nervous about using a green with this blush, but I think we're just gonna do it anyway. But let's prime with sand. Uh, this is just my, my go-to eye primer every day. And I'm gonna use Rosie's little brush, the number two brush, just to pat that out. If I had to pick one of the brushes from Rose Ink, I would choose this one. Uh, I find it softer and good for concealer under the eyes. The other one, it's nice, it looks really nice. It looks like it would be great, but I just find it a wee touch jaggy. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, they've got nice tones in here too. So if I hold it like this, I'm gonna use this is a transition color, and then I'm gonna go in with some of this green, and then I'm gonna use this green right here. I feel like that's exactly what I want to do. It's a bit bold, a bit bold and wild for me, isn't it? But I just think it's going to be very cool. Oh. So see for all that this palette looks quite loud, you've got some really easy, wearable, everyday shades in there too. Nice, working like a dream, buffing that up. I love the packaging on this as well. It matches the Claymax mascara, really cool. So I'm bringing, apparently I'm doing quite a big blend with this today. I think it goes with the big eyebrows. You need to do a nice big eye makeup with it or like a real lash liner focus when you've got big bushy brows on and it's not your natural look. 
I like it. Okay, let's use this little Fenty brush. This is a, a 200, so it's just like a packer brush. And I want to go in with this green. I'm very intrigued. Greens are not very easy to get right, I don't think. Oh, wow. I'm gonna keep going, but dare I say, I think that's one of the nicest greens I've ever used because greens, I just remember the subculture palette. But there was a, there was a colour in the subculture palette that remind, it reminds me of this, but it was so difficult to use. I think it was the blue and it would just patch up. It would patch up and you could do nothing about it. Right, let's swap over to another brush. I'm going to go in with the same green and I'm just going to do a wee blend into that purpley colour just to see what happens because, oh no, it's fine, look. So nice. I don't think I wear green eyeshadow that much at all, but it is so pretty. And see, because that pink's leaning a little bit cooler, I think the blend start, the blend looks quite nice so far. I've not done much on the, the center of the lid because we're gonna go in there with shimmer anyway. So I'm gonna go in with that lovely green uh, in the middle and I'm gonna take my all-nighter. Always got an all-nighter on my desk for this. And I'm gonna give it a wee spray. Oh, this is quite a chunky shimmer. Oh, it's beautiful though. This little palette. And I've just kind of brought that up to the crease and a wee bit past it. It's not super silky. And I don't mean that in a negative way because I really, really like shimmers like this. But I do recommend just trying it with a bit of setting spray just to get it a little bit, a little bit like liquid almost. It just helps everything glide on and grab on. Otherwise you might get some fallout. I feel like I want to leave my lower lash line but do a big wing. I've got a wee tiny bit of fallout, but that's okay. I'm just gonna get a brush and sweep it away. That's what's good about doing your under eyes and then setting them before doing your eye makeup. You usually can just blend it away. I'm gonna go back in with that first shade, the kind of cool mauve. And I'm just blending that up. I really like the, the slight purple tone against the greens. But it contrasts, but actually it works just really nice, doesn't it? Cool. Ah, I can love it. Right, I was just looking for an eyeliner there and I was thinking, I don't know if any brands have been bringing out eyeliners and then I remembered, yes they have, Hindash. Hindash is a brand I've not tried yet, but I've just reminded myself that I'm gonna go and buy the Hindash palette and I'm gonna buy the Hindash eyeliner because it looks great and I love, um, I, I love him. So I'm gonna use a KVD Vegan Beauty Trooper Liner and I'm just gonna do, I want a kind of sassy wing. So we're going to straight out today. See, for a while there, I wasn't doing eyeliner that much and I started to get a bit shit at it, which means, <laughs> basically, see, if it's just practice. So I've had to be, I've started like just practicing again on myself because it just, yeah, it took me a while to get it right again. But I mean, I'll say that and then I'm going to mess this one up, but we'll see. Uh, tell me this while we're here and you're talking amongst yourself while I'm doing this eyeliner. Do you want Halloween tutorials this year? I've done one look, Bride of Chucky, which I really like. I'll put a picture here if you've not seen it on my Instagram. So just let me know. I have um, one idea for a Halloween tutorial. So if you want one, it'll only be one this year, but if you want it, I've got it. Okay, new brand alert. This is Calorie. This is by Wendy Zomnier, who is the creator and co-founder of Urban Decay. Wendy came out with a new brand. Uh, she's still at Urban Decay, but this is her other brand, and I'm just so excited to try it. It's inspired very much by California. It just, it so reminds me of Wendy. It's, um, it's like long lasting. It's kind of surf inspired. It's, I don't want to call it hippie because it's not, she's not a hippie, but she's very cool. It's like California cool girl. This is their mascara. It's called Come Hell or High Water. Like how cool, how cool. Wendy herself is just the coolest. And this is a tubing mascara, so it's not gonna transfer and it just slides off when you're done. You just wet your wet your lashes, but you really won't get much smudge in. And I'm just really excited. I actually had her eyeliners out in front of me, but I've not used them today. The eyeliners are called Surf Proof Easy Glider Eye Definer. Surf Proof, right? Do you feel, do you, do you know the kind of angle now? And this color is called the Deep. And then this color is called Secret Spot. So surf inspired, like I said, California cool girl, building really nicely, nice and black as well. 
nice wand, nice and easy to use. I sound biased, but if I'm honest, I am a bit biased because Wendy's done it right before, she's gonna do it right again. I'm gonna pop on my Vive HL1 lashes, and I've not cut them at all because I'm gonna use them essentially as a full lash. So just wee natural lashes today. I like that eye a lot. Let's just pop a wee bit in the inner corner. We're gonna use this one right here. Wow! This wee palette. Oh my god. Okay, let's zoom you out. The skin does look really nice and I've actually, now that I've zoomed you out, I feel like I need more blush, so that's fun. So let's just tap a wee bit more on. Blusher with green eyes is difficult, like green eye makeup, I think. So I think you just need to lean into the, the contrast of pinkiness. Back to rose ink, we have lip colour. Wow, I can't do the colour, I can't do it. Again, let's see if you didn't have green eyes. Oh, it's so nice. I'm gonna just finish off. This is the colour in quartz. See for an everyday lip colour. That's really nice. And uh, you know me, I, I'm not huge into pink. I really like that. But then with this eye, you need a nude, don't you? And I don't have any nude. How would you feel if I used Vive? Just like, because that... <laughs> Vive and Bark. Let's just do Vive and Bark, okay. This is really nice though. I'm going to do a different makeup look. This is why I love sitting down and doing things like this because now I'm very inspired to go and do a, like a no foundation, very natural girl next door makeup, but I'm not the girl next door. I'm the girl in the basement today. I'm going to start with Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Vive, which is just the best, like cool beige. I think when I do green eyes, all like that's immediately the one for me. I even like it with no lip liner because I, I will always be that girl. And I'm gonna use Bark just to define. There's just some eye looks that I know that I need this lip with. That's better. I had a wee bit of fallout on my cheek. Wow, your skin feels nice. Feels very nice. I'm reviewing, uh, you know, rose ink mostly today. And I think I've managed to do the least rose ink makeup of all time. So you guys, that is the finished look. What do you think? I think I love it. Especially I got new hair. Don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a bit, I'm like brunette at the back and blonde at the front. I'm biz business at the back, party at the front, always. Uh, I am really chuffed with how the makeup turned out. I really like it. I might come back to you soon with a, like a natural everyday makeup using some of the products that are definitely not intended for a full face of makeup. For example, the KVD Mod Con, I don't think I've done this justice. I don't think it's made for makeup like this. Yeah, I would say big winner is the eye palette. I really, really like it. I love the colours of green. I love how easy it was to use. Huge plus for me. Kevin O'Conn Skin Enhancer. I really like mixing this with my Skin Nova, the Kevin O'Conn. But again, I don't think I gave it a good enough shock because I did it on top of concealer and you know what it's like. It's a bit, it's a bit chaotic around here sometimes, isn't it? I would say big winners from the Rosie Collection. The concealer's great. Really like it. Kevin O'Conn, the powder is like silk. The rosy blushers are really nice. I mean, if you've got cream blushers, you'll, you'll really like these. I think I thought I was gonna get a huge amount of color from this, when actually it's really buildable. So if you wanted a lot of color, you can get it, but as soon as you blend it out, it's very, very natural, which means that they're easy. So really nice. The calorie, I'm excited to see how it wears. I don't think, again, I gave it a fair shock because I put lashes on today, but I feel like this look wanted lashes. What else is worth shouting about? The slime light's fun, but every day I'm probably not gonna reach for it a huge amount. The lips, if you just want a very rosy Huntington Whiteley pink lip, you'll really like these. They're super soft. They're just like a really nice soft matte formula. Yeah, really nice, but I had to swap it out for this lip because this look is screaming for a beige nude. Anyway. Please let me know if there are any other products that you would like me to test out for you. I have, I'll tell you my shopping list, right? Very excited about the Lisa Eldridge Foundation. Hindash, gonna get his palette and his eyeliner. Made by Mitchell, the white blush. I'm very intrigued by it. I think it could make for some really fun looks and also for customizing what products you already have. Those for me at the moment, um, I'm really excited about, but you tell me, what are you excited about? What would you like me to pick up? I hope you loved the video. As always, I'll link everything down below. And other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye. <sighs> is the skin, the, 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 the <laughs> Looking like a raging success today, my dudes. What is that noise? A helicopter, a helicopter. Mauve, mauve, I had to mauve it, mauve it. I've lost a middle finger, fingernail, <laughs> finger. You can, dog hair in the way.
really reminds me of architecture again. I hope you don't think I sound like a Ponzi idiot by saying that, but it's the truth. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please let me do know. Please let me do know. Yeah. Oh God, why is my hair just everywhere? Go away. <laughs>